Uh, so the White House, as we said, some good economic news today. This morning, we got a look at the November jobs numbers. Almost 230,000 jobs added last month. Expectations were for 200,000, so that was an upside surprise. Unemployment still at 4.1 percent. That's a 17-year low. Markets moved higher on the news, proving once again that the one undisputed aspect of the past year under President Trump is that the market clearly likes what it sees. Earlier this evening, I spoke with Mark Short, White House Director of Legislative Affairs, asked him how he responds to critics who say that despite the strong jobs numbers, wage growth is a bit sluggish. Well, Martha, we're really excited by the, uh, the numbers. We have a 17-year low in unemployment, and something buried inside those numbers is an all-time low in Hispanic unemployment in this country, as well as the 1.9 million jobs created during the Trump presidency equals the number the private sector created in the entire first term of the Obama years, all four years. So we think that the economy is going the right way as the president continues to unleash it and pull back the regulatory burden. And we think you'll see the wages increase when we actually get tax reform as well to provide tax relief for corporations and for middle income families. That'll help drive the, the wage um, rise as well. Yeah, and we did see back to back 3% growth quarters, which we haven't seen uh, in some time, which is clearly economically significant. You know, when you take a look through the headlines in the response to this news, uh, you see things like this. Trump's unpopularity is amazing given the strength of the economy. Despite Trump's rancor for the global system, the world econ economy is surging. Um, you know, I mean, when you do look at the polls, the numbers do not match up with what we're seeing in the economy. Why do you think that is? Well, Martha, I think that there's a lot of things happening. It's not just the economy, but it's also America's place in the world. And as the Trump uh, presidency continues to make progress, both in securing our country as well as turning the economy around, I'm confident those numbers will go up. But there's no doubt that this president faces um, unparalleled amount of opposition from the mainstream media. And that certainly impacts what your popularity numbers are as well. I want to just switch gears for a moment and ask you something about Jeff Sessions, uh, because reports today that it was revealed actually some time ago, but it just surfaced today that the FBI found that there was no reason for him to disclose the meetings that he had with the Russian ambassador uh, and that he was not wrong in not including them on his forms. So given that, what does the White House think about the fact that he recused himself? Did he do that uh, without needing to? Well, Martha, I think the president has spoken about his, uh, his concern about the recusal, but also I think it's important to note regarding the larger investigation that uh, millions and millions of dollars of taxpayer expense have been, have been spent so far on investigations that have proven no collusion whatsoever with the Russians. And so while the White House continues to cooperate fully with the different House and Senate investigations as well as the special counsel, there has been no evidence of collusion. We will continue to do our job and cooperate, but we're also anxious to move beyond this and begin to focus on the things that we can for the American people, such as providing middle-income tax relief. All right. In terms of what uh, other news out of the White House today, Dina Powell announcing that she will leave uh, in the beginning of the year, in the beginning of 2018, and there's speculation that it'll be just the beginning of a wave of people leaving. Is that true? Uh, Martha, there's no way I can know what other people's plans are. Dean has been a terrific asset to this White House. We're sorry to see her go, but uh, she has family uh, considerations, and, uh, and uh, she'll be hard to replace. But I think a lot of us are having a good time in our jobs. We think that we're helping to make an impact on this country, and we're honored to serve this president. So you don't expect a wave of people leaving or an increase in no. that in the new year? Rex no, Tillerson I... is also back on the list and back in discussion that he also plans to leave over the next few weeks. Martha, I feel like we're just getting started. We're just turning this economy around. Uh, America is being respected across the globe again. There's so much more that we still have to do, and I think most people here are excited about what's still left. Just, just one last question on Dina Powell. There was suggestion that there was some dissension over the Jerusalem story, the decision by the president to move the U.S. embassy uh, to Jerusalem in recognition of it as the capital of Israel. W was that something that she felt differently about? I, no, I certainly don't think so. I think that, in fact, the president engaged in a very deliberative process that allowed the State Department, the CIA, others to uh, provide their 
their opinions on the decision. The president heard it all out. He made it. He made a a strong decision to to stay with uh, commitments that other presidents have made, been unable to fulfill, as well as what Congress has promised to do, going back to 1995 when they voted in the Senate 93 to five to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. So this president continues to uh, live up to the commitments he made. I don't think there's any dissension from Dean on that decision. And not widespread concern at the White House about the protests that we've seen in, in reaction to that decision. Well, I'm sure we're always going to be concerned about protests. Certainly, we, we want to uh, to dissuade violence in any way. But uh, this is a decision that, that other uh, Congresses have recognized, other presidents have promised to do on the campaign trail and have failed to deliver. This president delivered on that promise. Mark, thank you very much. Good to see you tonight. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Martha. Thanks for having me.